Welcome back everybody to House and Garden Flipper. This is episode 381 and we are heading on inside. We have... Now I want to have a look in my browser. Yeah. Alright, so all of these are our... Um, our houses we can purchase. Let's just let's just get these and we're gonna buy them. We're gonna stay where we are. So basically we're just buying these as fast as they can go. Alright. Now we have 13 to flip. Oh boy. And I mean we've started the alone home and we've started the castle. So we'll actually probably go back to the castle first as soon as we've finished our, our missions with Luxury Flipper. We're going to head into the map of jobs, into Luxury Flipper, and it's time for finishing off or getting a big chunk more of Jessica's fabulous mansion. It says we're 86% through. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's a pretty big job. Money and good taste do not always go together, and that's where you come in. What, to exercise someone's bad taste with their money? I don't know about that, guys. We just do our best. It is hopefully going to load very soon. All right. You know, it's it's really coming together now. Uh, let me just check something. Yeah, that's okay. There's an update coming as I record this, and it probably will already be here by the time you guys see it. Uh, we're in the gardening tools are going to stay unlocked uh, for all jobs and I, I'm not sure if that means that they're going to stay unlocked for um, like these jobs as well but maybe they will oh, looking forward to it so I'm recording ahead on this series now so that I can I can wind it well finish it in time for Pets Flipper to come out uh, I may add Pets Flipper onto the end of it but uh, that, that will be sometime in the future so let's have a look at our remaining rooms. We have a little suite of three rooms here, which we could probably get done in this episode, maybe. And we have a little suite of two rooms here, which we could almost definitely get done. All right, why don't we... I know, but the, the, the three rooms over here have choices, and I love them. All right, let's start here with this one. All right. Inspirations, choose a wall finish. We're going to go probably go with the mosaic pink, I think. Fill my personal bathroom with marble and gold to make me feel like a goddess. Remember, there's no way to relax after a long day of shopping. No better way to relax after a long day of shopping than a bubble bath. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so it looks like she likes that. Um, that's her bedroom. I was going to say the grey marble, but I think we did that already for her. There's really no... Yeah, okay, she wants to feel like a goddess, and she would like marble. Is that marble? Marble and gold. Is the mosaic pink? That's not marble. Terracotti's not marble. Oh, we have red speckled marble. I'm not sure I like this idea, but I like it better than the next snowy. So we will give the lady what she wants. Oh, boy. If I regret this, actually, you know what? And we might change the floor to Imperador because I know I'm watching my budget go down, but the other jobs we've been under budget most of the time. So let's, um, all right, let's uh, overwhelm the lady with marble. Uh, I'm not sure I like this choice. Yeah. You know what though? It, it could be all right if we doled it out with gold. So let's let's go with the red Imperador because I would not normally do this. So it's it's a change for me. Just not forget the windows. Because I mean there's nothing like making her feel like a goddess in a in a bathroom of marble and gold and then having these daggy cement finished windows. That would that would just be really spoil the effect, I think. So, let us choose a wall finish. Oh, 
All right, it's growing on me. This is the other reason we do things we're not comfortable with because it sometimes surprises us what works. Let's see how we go. It may not be working. We'll find out in a minute. And I'm not sure if I want to change the pink now. Because, I mean, I, yeah, bathroom. Make my bathroom. So what I did was I just read one room's requirements. Um, and she liked pink and everything. But... Um, yeah... All right, I, I can handle this, but she does want marble, so maybe Emperador marble on the floor would be better. Uh, except that I no longer have the choice, the, the choices box up. I wonder if I can destroy it enough that it'll give me that question box back. I, I might. I might put down something I know isn't in there and just see if I get the question box back. Just let me finish tiling here first. I know, yes, you can do this in four if you don't tile inside the windows and make them look pretty. But, seeing as we didn't... Let's just see how we go. I know, right? I, I'm looking forward to starting a new series and at the same time as I'm looking forward to it, I'm dreading not having this one done. And I am going to finish it, even if I start a new series. I'm just going to try and finish it before I do that because that the workload is incredible otherwise. And I don't want to miss, miss an episode because I've taken on too much. There is. They just announced a, um, they're doing an update very soon. That's going to celebrate Chinese New Year. All right, let's deliberately try and trash a little bit of the floor here. Um, if I put down these, which were definitely not in there. All right, does it give me back the choice? Ha ha, yes, it does. All right, so now I can have a look at these, knowing that she would like marble. So we have Imperador Marble Grey. Nick snowy marble. The snowy's too light, but I think the grey would carry it. So if we did this. Or maybe the snowy? Okay, so at least I've remembered what the tile is. Um... I know, don't look at my budget, it's scaring me. Alright, I like it because it lightens it out. But I, I would have preferred, I think, to leave the, the terracotta in, to be honest. Make me feel like, why is there no pink marble? I know, now I'm whining, I'm sorry, I should stop that. See, the, we got the mosaic pink we could have put on the walls, but... There's no pink marble. That's okay. Let's let's go back to our tasks before we completely bazonka the budget. Blow the budget. That would be bad. Let's not do that. Okay, we're going to do a delicier bathtub. She would like lots of gold in her bathroom. All right. The metal is gold. There we go. Oh, that is such a pretty bathtub, isn't it? I know. And, and I've never made it before, so I'm kind of glad there's some guides on it. Pretty. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm thinking I should have gone the Imperador Grey, like I thought. Anyway, let's stop our whining and get to the next thing. A rando faucet sink with faucet on marble countertop. 
All right, the metal will be gold and the tabletop will be snowy because uh, I can match the floor. Gray looks nice. We should have gone with the Imperador gray. Because if I put anything else in other than the snowy, it's going to be just like too many different textures. I mean, that's almost too many textures for me as it is. Alrighty, let's just get that out from under the light switch. And we'll assemble it. There we go. Pretty. Okay. Yeah, I don't like it, but okay. So Imperador Grey lets you match the thing with the grey marble. Uh, we'll see what our budget is. I may or may not come back and fix it. Okay. Before we go anywhere else, what's this say? Oh my giddy aunt. I think it has to be this one. Because, because it's really princessy. <laughs> and it comes in gold. Alrighty, so I'm going to say, let's just pop this, we'll pop this up here. Alright, is this the same thing? Yes, alrighty. Hang on, let's, before we go, before we go nuts with it, let's just check and see if this is the same thing. Alright, so basically what we can do is we can just use the same sconce. So where's our gold? There we go. Alright, these ones... Okay, yeah, we sh she should probably have changed the... Oh, wow. That that looks so much better on the red than it would have looked on the white. Yeah, okay, I'm a little happier now. And, okay, I still think we should have gone with the Imperator Grey, though. Let's go with this, whatever this is. Okay, I think we've got to go with the Thetis. Yeah, definitely. That's our red and gold theme going right there. Let's have a look. This is probably way too... Yeah, way too big extra extra large but it gives us an idea of um oops of what we need no what are you doing all right there we go so extra large might fit yeah and so that'll cover the area where you want to stand here yeah, as well as here. So there we go. Alrighty. Uh, I have one more question mark. This will be the mirror, right? Yeah. The mirror. Okay, so she really... I, I'm, I'm thinking it has to be this one. The platinum. I mean, you've got your Finestra as well. Now, your Finestra comes with a nice gold outline. And it's mega, mega waddy huge. Whoops, where are we? I'm lost. Right. Um, but I think... I think that just looks a little bit ridiculous. Although it, it does kind of suit the room, though, to be honest. Uh, what are you doing? So it may be this one, and maybe large. I mean, that's... I don't know. All right, now I'm, now I'm having second thoughts. I know, I'll, eventually I'll get used to get rid of it with the right click. And then, okay, that's a little bit better. I think I might stick with this one. There we go. Okay, a sagum narrow long curtain, suspended toilet plumbing system, and a capulous bathroom door. Now, over here, what did I have for the walls in here? Okay, they were Beowulfs. I just want to find something relatively with that pink cat. Okay, there was no pink paint. I need to put I need to put something in around the door, otherwise I'm gonna be a sad panda because that's just me. Uh, I need that red that red wall tile. Let's go here, let's grab our walls, let's grab our tiles. Let's grab ooh, some of these are really pretty. Uh, we are actually just looking for where'd it go? That one. The Furent Speckled Red Mar Red Marble. All right, because I want to finish off this doorway before I before I go anywhere, it's just got to be properly finished and looks swish. 
So you don't have this bare brickwork poking around the door either. So it looks, it just looks a little bit nicer. There we go. Alrighty. That down, man, I like being able to put my tiles down. I know I say it every episode, but that doesn't change the fact that I really like it. Alrighty. Yeah. You know, if we can afford it, I'm coming back in here and I'm changing the floor to the gray Imperador marble. In the meantime, however, we need a Sagam light narrow long curtain. I wonder if we have gold. Let's check it. Oh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Okay, so the details need to be gold. The um the base. Ah, oh, okay, the base is this thing up here. Yep, I gotcha. That might be the best we can get, actually. Let's have a look. We need three of them. Okay. So let's just put one up and we'll just see. Oh, I've missed an entire window. Look at that. Man, what are you on, builder? I know, she'll never see it, but that's that's not going to stay that way. That's no good. I know, just when you think it's safe to step out of the bathroom. Oh, you are kidding me. I know, I can't tile behind the... Hang on. No, I seriously can't. This is how to blow your budget in one easy lesson. Don't do this, folks. Here we go. What else have we got? All right, we've got all of that. Let's go E and let's go sell the tiles. Pray that this time we don't have to buy them back. Let's go. I need some curtains, please. We are probably going to stick with our gold on our gold on our pink. Because I don't think any of these other ones, I mean, beige. No, you know what? That's, that's way too many freaking colors and tone changes. Let's not do that. Let's just pop that up there. Pretty sure we'll get away with this lighter face. We would get away with it better if we'd actually had um, the pink floor and kept the pink floor and gone, lady, you can like marble all you like, but except that I think Okay. There we go. Right. Yeah, so that, that contrasts okay. Alrighty. We also need a suspended toilet plumbing system. I'm thinking... I know. I should put it on this wall here, but can you imagine the, the piping layout? That's going to be horrid. Actually, it's going to be horrid whichever way we do it. So I think what we'll do is we'll give the lady some privacy. And I mean, we can put that there or we can put it here. We could put it there. Or we could put it there. Let's go there and we'll grab ourselves a fez suspended toilet there we go and assemble that all right just got to click it in the right point it may not go on the first one there you go a capulous bathroom door radio uh hmm i mean there's cherry wood there's sapel it's kind of reddish but I'm thinking I know I think the gray might be a little bit too much but we'll just check it otherwise we're just going to go with plain white the handle needs to be gold now if we do sapel every oops gray wood yeah see I it would all depend on what we put in that room there so let's no no let's okay let's chicken out and we will go with our white on white on white on white is that white wood that's glass what's that light all right i know it's not as exciting as the gray wood i actually prefer the gray wood but that's okay 
I know, too much fussing. How long it be take to do a bathroom with instructions? My goodness. So I think we're going to do these three rooms. This is a, a walk-in robe. All right. And again, she's like... This is, this is what we're here now. I don't think she's putting a full post to bed in this room. I mean, it's not going to fit. I mean, it'll fit in this room. Maybe I have the same instructions here. Yeah, okay. So this, this is going to be her, um, her bedroom's fine. So this will be her closet space then. So we have wardrobe, wardrobe, capulous interior door. And it's all in pinks and whites. So the grey wood would have been out of out of place. Okay. Choose a wall finish. She wants to feel like a princess. In the bathroom, she wants to be surrounded by, but I think that's too much white if we do that. Um, I think we're probably going to go with this one. White panels. And then we'll just adjust the pink. So we've already got a reddish pink on the floor so we want a paler pink that might do it no it's too gray that's just going to close the room up and that's more purple than pink so why don't we go with okay that's light ear scene pale pink yeah let's go with the pale pink no pale pink we'll do this alrighty so I'm probably going to need one, two, maybe, and maybe, it's a long wall, isn't it? All right, I think I may be one panel short of a wall, but we'll find out in a minute. Let's go. Now, because this is already painted, I don't have to worry about painting it. I just, I like to have that clean finish and not that dirty cement finish. There we go. I know, the, the white panels, I'm not so sure about them, but that's okay. Let's just get this bit. What do you do? I know, right? It's it's just relaxing. I forget to talk. There we are. No, I don't need to do that door, but I do need to do this door. Uh-oh. And I'm one panel short. Oh. Uh, we'll just go into the heart. We'll buy that. Buy that. I know. I'm not looking at my budget. My budget is scaring me. Okay, all of that's done. Let's have a look at our choices. Love these choices. Let's go with this because it's the De Vitae chandelier and it'll, it sort of leads into the bathroom. Make it gold. Oh, oh my, this is just overkill. Let's, uh, let's try this again. What else have we got? This is nothing, I mean, the short stuff, sure, but the Celestes might hang a little taller. That's just like, if we go with, I know, the Devita, it just, it's just too big for the room. Oh, no, that's too dinky. That's not princessy. Okay, this one hangs, hangs higher. So we'll, we'll have the higher hanging chandelier in here. Just because the other one, if you walked in, you'd be like walking right into it. This one, you're only going to brush the top of your head against it. And, and you'd be less worried about it falling on said head. That's pretty. Alrighty, we need two. Okay, 
what do we got in here we need two carubia light wardrobe 100 centimeters and two carubia light wardrobes 200 centimeters so one of these walls you know they're both the same length what else have we got let's just have a quick check in the tasks okay so it is just these wardrobes well the capulus interior door is simple it's like door and then make all of these white then a golden handle and a white frame we could just slap those in now because they're done um which means i should have spread my terracotta tiles a little further we might fix that in just a tick Alrighty, because we can't have that. That just looks wrong. I mean, we can have that, but I don't like it. So we'll grab our floor, and we'll grab our floor tiles, and we'll grab our, our terracotta tiles, and just zip that down there. Now it's done. Pretty. So I'm. there's no mirror in here. Why would she not... Okay, we're not asking that question. That is not a question we're asking. Back to our tasks. 100 centimeter wardrobes. We are doing, is that pink? That's pastel rose base and the doors are ugly. Okay, that's, you know, we're leaving that exactly like it is. And I'm thinking that that fits perfectly well there. Actually, let's just make sure that that's flush up against that back wall. Yeah, it wasn't there. that in and secure it and then over here because that chandelier is we don't really want it between the two doors here uh let us have a look at these 200 yeah wow okay so they're kind of tall let's just pivot maybe put it around the right way there we go like big guardians aren't they so i think you get a little light glare Maybe we will. No, we won't because it'll cover the light switch. I think we need to not have it sitting right on the chandelier. Okay. So I'm going to just pull it out of the wall a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's grab this light switch. Light switch is, is a pain in the patootie. Right, now we'll grab this one. And maybe turn it around so we're not putting it in back to front. Man, she'd be like, I'm never asking that builder back. I can't get my clothes in or out of my wardrobe. All right. Uh, yeah. Flush against the wall is, is, is probably a thing. Right. Now we're just going to fix the... Sh now we might put the chandelier maybe a little bit more centrally. Because... Yeah, I don't like it, to be honest. I would actually have some smaller ones in here. But, okay, this room is done. Um, let's head into this one. I don't fuss, fuss, fuss. Let us grab. Now, it's probably not going to let us choose a light fitting until we get to the um, the thing. I'm actually going to continue the, the pink pastel theme through here. So we'll grab that. I'm going to need probably... Because we've got a lot of windows, it's going to take a few more panels than we might otherwise like. All right, I've probably done too many now, but that's fine. Let's get to it. So I, I would suspect that the minute we get the... Um, The minute we get the walls done, we'll be allowed to choose a light and we'll be able to see again. So just give me a quick minute while we get all of this up. Like I said, I may have done overkill on the paneling, you think, but we'll see how we go. I know, Chinese New Year, and, and there, apparently there's going to be two more houses, and and they're putting in stuff for the Cyberpunk DLC. I know, we're so spoiled. So spoiled. 
So yeah, that came through on the announcements this morning, which which I know is going to date this video a little bit, but that's okay. At least you know when it's being shot. Let's get all of these up. And this is where we start to find our panels being used quicker than we'd like. There's no completion bonus for jobs where you bother to, 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 to make sure the finish is nice. But um, except for the fact that, that, that you do get the bonus of feeling a lot better about, you know, what you've done. And, and a happy client. I mean, technically, if you're role playing this, uh, your clients would be really cross if you didn't finish it properly. The main thing that worries me doing it this way though is that I'm going to blow the budget doing it right, you know, and that's that's always a bit of a thing. I mean, although having said that, my, my main danger in blowing the budget is that I'll, you know, <laughs> try out one too many floor finishes and uh, it won't be, it won't be finished. So let's just get all of this done. All right, did we finish it? Yes. We're not completing the job. The job is not done until it is done. So we are going to just zap these away, get a little bit of our money back. Beautiful. We weren't that far off. And here are our light furnishes. Alrighty, I'm going to say we're going to go with this because I like it and it's a big room and blah, blah, blah. I just want an excuse. Um, alrighty. They really hang low, don't they? See, I didn't think they were that low. You can just bang your head straight on that. All right. I know, now I want to sell them because they're too low. They're way too low. I'm just, I know, budget. Shh. Don't, don't start with the budget with me. Uh, let's just go with this. All right, we'll go with that then. I know, I'm not sure what it is. It could just be that that's just, you know, they're made for those really long dangly areas. Like um, over the stairs, you could put one over here and, and get away with it. It would look pretty good. But in, in a room like this, it's just hanging too low. It's hanging even lower than that. All right, I'll stop whining now and we'll get back on with the job. What's over here? Some kind of desk. I know uh, why yes I did just choose a desk using price okay frame now there's no gold frame so we'll use white wood the table top we've got pastel rose and she likes a pink and we've got gold legs there we go so she can have a pale pink pastel rose um, desk it kind of blends nicely with the room what's over here now she wants, she wants a four poster bed. A four poster bed is a must. Even though we've got these other choices that are not four posters, we are stuck with these two. Really, we have the Astrid and the Christian. I'm thinking the Christian gives us more opportunity for gold. Uh, but let's have a look at the drapes on both of them. So, see that's, yeah, straight up there. Where are my drapes? All right, what's counting as ornament? I'm not seeing it. I'm definitely not seeing it. Maybe I'm blind. All right. So just because I can't see the ornament, let's make it gold just, you know, to be safe. The bedding is beige or golden. Okay. The beige looked more gold to me, but that's okay. All right. This is where we, where we get into a little bit of trouble. The primary, okay, the primary colors will be the pillows. Yep.
Okay. Secondary colors. See, I kind of like the gold in there. Oh, I see. Yep. Yeah. All right. We're going to just with, go with that. And the pink. Alrighty. And the mattress is white. Now, why do I not get a choice with the curtains? Ah, I do get a choice with the curtains. They're, they're just up here. Yes. Alrighty. That's what we're going to do there. And the details. We could reverse it. We could go pink and, and then... There's no gold. There's, wait. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to go with gold and the pink. And that, that would be how we would do that bed. Alrighty. Let's have a look at the Christian. Because, I mean, the other thing we've got wrong with this is, is we, we didn't do a white frame with it. So it would be a white frame. Gold curtains, pink ties. I still haven't worked out where the ornament is, so we're going to make it gold. There we go. Yep. Uh, bedding, golden. Primary color. We went with the pink. Yep. And then we left the others as is. So that is that is how that would look. Uh, all right. So if we did this one, ooh, actually I might like this one better. Let's go with the bedding. There's no gold bedding. No, but there is pink bedding. All right, that would be that color. Your frame. This is what I meant when you could have golden on the frame. Um, your details. Right, that's what I thought the details were. Now your primary color, these are your pillows. There's no gold in the details. There's beige. There's beige or pink. Okay. See so primary colors. Let's have a look. That would be your pillows, right? No. Okay. That's going to be your. All right. So you can have golden on the canopy and golden on the sides. Or you can go pink and pink. I like that gauzy look. But would she like the gauzy look is the question, especially as the ties are beige and not gold. Um, then your pillows will have pink at the back. Wait, what do you mean I can't have? All right, so this would be an incredibly pink bed. And the only really, um, redeeming factor is the fact you can have gold metal. So I think what we might do is we might go with the Astrid. We'll go with the white wood frame. Oh, wait, we could go with a cherry wood frame. No, we'll go with the white wood frame. Golden curtains, pink ties, ornament is gold, bedding is gold. Uh, primary color is pink. And then we have the rest stays the same. That's right, and the mattress is white. And she would like that under the chandelier. I'm glad we didn't go with the other chandelier, though, because that's not going to fit under a chandelier. No, it's going to have to fit near a window like that. All right, what's over here? Rose leather, rose light colored, rose dark colored. This gives me again the opportunity for gold and pink. So that's a relatively easy choice. Ooh, what's that? Nice. So many tables. I am tempted to do the Heckam because Heckam, gold and gold, right? But I, I'm not sure it fits the room. Mind you, the bed is pretty square. Okay, so we're going to have to move the bed down and we're going to have to move one of the chandeliers. What I might do is not have them lined up in perfect symmetry. So, so we could do that. Actually, we'd be better off putting it here. 
right and what I, what I might do let me just grab this one and we're going to move this one over to here we're going to grab this bed and we're going to shovel it sideways over to here then we're going to have a look and see what we need Alrighty. I like the Havana I just like the color and and I yeah the whole thing and I think the only problem is is the bed is not made of the same timber um, so we would probably have to do it in white. Oops, does it come in a white frame? Yeah. Color and shape. Now does it fit? I don't think it might. It actually reflects the, um, the squares and the paneling. And then we have the square, the square thingy, the square hackam. So now you've got room with a lot of squares. You've got this very oblongy rectangular -y thing all right i'm getting overwhelmed with choice let's grab this we're gonna go with the salumi we're gonna go with the golden and we're gonna go with the white i'm pretty sure there wasn't pink in there was there wait i mean the legs could be pink yep yeah, so Oh, try again I know I just hit the thing at the wrong moment there we go so now she's got that uh, nothing else in this area she needs lamps what's this ooh pretty patterned or light colored I actually am kind of bending towards one of these but I don't know if we want dark pillows I mean you've got primary of pink and golden Actually, I would I would flip it the other way. So we could do that, and then we would have white wood. And we just put that at the end of the bed. You know what? I've put that bed in back to front. I know, right? Shush. Oh, boy. Right, we'll put that in. Right, now I feel better. It's like, what's wrong with the bed? Ah. Uh, nothing yeah right all right actually I do like the idea of these two being more central in these spaces so we are deliberately deliberately moving our lighting around just make sure it goes over her shoulder there we go all right what are you oh boy okay now are you all mirrors that's the question We're all mirrors. Okay, this one's okay. And there's two mirrors. What's that? Three mirrors. And you? What are you? Tell me you're not a mirror. Ah, oh, you're a rug. It's a toss up between that and that. I like that because it's got the dark contrast, but she likes her light colors. So maybe we'll go with this. See? That's fine as far as it goes. I still like that. It's got gold and pink in it. All right, fine. I'm sold. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Maybe we have a look at this one. No, no. It's not quite enough contrast in that one. I think we'll stick with this one and we'll see how big we can make it. Yeah. Because it has gold and it has pink and it is pretty. Okay, I know. Who am I trying to convince? Shh. So what I'm going to do is I'm thinking we, we can have like this huge central mirror, the fenestra, the window mirror, right? And we can stick it in the middle of this wall. We'll make it large and we'll make it really gold. There we go. And it's massive. And then what we'll do is we're going to use these smaller mirrors to accent it. So maybe a slojka, a siokai. Oh man, I think I just butchered that. Or a fadden. So this siokai, I'm pretty sure the gemmas don't. Ah, oh, they do have colors. Now this, this could be where I fall apart. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. So the frame, no, no, the frame would be gold.
No, the frame would have to be pastel rose because that is the wrong pink. So and you could do this, make them kind of like an artwork in and of themselves. But they contrast with the um with this big mirror. I don't know, it looks kind of like the front end of a car, really. You know, you got your headlamps. I know now I've got to try and <laughs> try and get it logically. The same, sort of like that. So now you've got this massive headlamp thing. All right, I, I know I, I probably wouldn't sleep well with that because it might be running me over. So a Capulus <laughs> interior door. I'll stop now. Let's grab our Capulus interior. What am I doing? I, I'm hoping to not upset the client uh, is what I'm doing. Uh, I may be failing miserably here, but we're going to give it our best shot. The, the not upsetting the client shot. Alrighty. One Capulus and a Caledium electric fireplace. Which is going to go over here. So hopefully, oh no, this looks huge. We're going to go snowy. Uh, the base can be white marble. So the frame is snowy. I mean, we could reverse it. We could go white marble and then snowy. You know, that actually is less. I might, I might stick with that. That's nice. Um... Okay, it's just designed to go on that wall, isn't it? Or where the bed is. Alrighty, so hang on a minute. Let's just pop it there for a minute. So all I need to do is to make it work is either shrink this down or lift it up. So we're going to try lifting it up first because it is freaking huge. And we're going to flip our fireplace around. We're going to pop it in underneath. That really does look like a car speeding towards you because it has this massive engine underneath. Uh, I am going to move that chandelier and I'm just going to move the headlamps. I know, they're always going to be headlamps to me now. Because the chandelier is spoiling my view, basically. Um, I need it to go a little bit more this way. I mean, we could if we wanted to. Just let me go around here. Put it right above the bed. Now that, now that we've got the bed itself in. Go over to here. Uh, I think that's about right. Just trying to get a good, a good snapshot. So, okay, that's, that's not a bad snapshot. We'll grab that. And then we'll go this way. Pivot it. I don't know. We'll go this way and pivot it. There we go. All right. But I don't know. I think we've got about 10 minutes left. Why don't we go have a look and see what we can do on the other side of the house? I know. I'm excited for this house. Having a little bit too much fun, I think. All righty. Paint with colors. Water abyss. Lay wall tiles. Exangular turquoise. Bathtub, toilet, and sink. So there's no shower, so we can go half. Tiles, except I'm not sure if the exangular turquoise tiles come with water abyss as a top. So they don't. So we'd have to go full length tiles with that. So let's buy how many of these we're we getting? 20. So we need two packets. Okay. And then over here we've got. Okay, looks like we're putting our bathtub there. Let's have a look and see what we got. bathtub all right wow so it's it's going to be kind of a green bathroom I mean is that just the wall panels yeah see I don't know if I like that wait that that wooden finish does a black and white floor and a green wall are you trying to kill me guys what are you doing all right let's have a look again
She likes it light. Actually, that's kind of pink, isn't it, though? But that goes, so it clashes with the floor. Alright. So we could just go like this. Alright, let's just get this in. Just see what it looks like. I like putting them together. Yeah, so basically I'm trying to match the floor, but I have a feeling that I should have put the tiles in and maybe gone with the green bath. Alrighty. Uh, I know. So what I was trying to work out was where the... Um... I like that one. It was where the wet area was. Because that way we can put in our tiles. And our tiles are going to be full length because I, I don't have matching paint um, as my tile option. I wonder, you know how you do the furniture, right? With all of the, the color options. So they are doing that with the tiles, yeah. All right, just brains not working. All right, where is the, there's the toilet. All right, let's grab a toilet. It's got to be a classy toilet. I've never used a Legrono before. Let's see how that thing goes together. Or if I have, I can't remember it. All right. Well, that was simple to put together. Okay. Now we're going to do the walls. So it doesn't tell me. Yeah, it does tell me. So I need to do 20 tiles. I'm going to start them here. My, my only problem is if I do the full wall, um, with tiles like I want to, I may not do enough painting uh, to keep them happy. So what we're going to do is we're going to just zip through here and um, put in 20 tiles, make sure we fulfill that requirement. And then, then we're going to see how much, how much more wool we can get away with uh, tiling. So... All right. Now I'm going to leave that kind of half done there. I know it is going to drive me nuts, but that's fine. Let's grab some paint. We're going to put the paint along the other side. Um, I'd prefer the tiles to the paint. It's just a nicer finish, but let's see how many of these we have to paint to get 40. And then we'll decide where we want to have our tiles and our other things. I'm just going to clean up this doorway. You know me, we do doorways. And we'll just clean up the other doorway while we're at it. I know I've, I've got to do the windows as well, but I'm thinking with given this color, I might prefer. Um, let's just test it out. Yeah, we're going to tile in there instead of instead of paint because the paint doesn't quite match. All right, let's go with our 40. Our 40 squares of paint. get all of that done so we might be able to get away with just doing this wall with the paint and then maybe tiling the rest maybe no we're not okay that was what I was afraid of all right so we're gonna go with paint from here okay and it may be that all I need to do actually is paint here all right, so now we've gone more than our 40. Let's see. Let's see what we can get away with tiling. So we'll grab this. So basically, um, I'm pretty sure if I can tile, if I tile over the, the bits I've painted on that far end, we can probably get away with, with that. And then the, the house will look a little bit tidier. Okay, because I don't like these split colors. So if we just try here, we 
to scan this bed done. So taking out the, that paint didn't didn't reduce our requirements. So we can we can now tile wherever we want with impunity. Actually, wait a minute. We'll find out if I if I've just made a mistake. Yep. All right. So I need I need three squares of paint somewhere. I know, not happy, Jan. Oh dear. So what we're going to do? Let me just grab. Let me just finish off the tiles on the wall, and then we'll um then we'll work out w which part of our nice tiling we want to destroy with paint. Alrighty, let's go. I just want to finish this nicely. I, I just think it looks better with the tiles up. It's more expensive though. I'm a bit worried. I've got one more room to go. So I'm hoping that this house was, the budget was big enough for me to really mess with like, like the other houses. Let me just grab those. Okay. So, I need three more spaces. So I'm thinking one, two, three. That's right, I would have had to have bought another pile of tiles anyway. All right, let's finish the room properly. Grab that, bring that through, one, and two, and three, and four, and five. All right, let's just, seeing as I've been really bad about missing windows lately, let's double check those, no, we're good. Okay, let us zap this. Yeah, we're going to have to stop shortly. Alrighty. An Eknin hanger with a light coloured towel by one. I might just put that underneath. It all depends on what it looks like. Okay, so it's a simple one. Uh, a green. The metal can be gold. We know she likes gold. We'll just pop that green one there. A Capulus bathroom door by two. We're going to do those in white because everything else is white. So that makes that choice simple. Right? The handle has to be gold because everything else is gold. Alrighty, let's get these in. And we will zap that paint can. Boom. A question mirror. Alrighty, let's get that done. Uh, we will make it white wood. It's a lot plainer here. A Magellanic round carpet. That would lighten the room a lot. I know, it's going to be a lot bigger. Don't panic. And that would fit the room better. Rightio. Let's see how big we can fit in here. We're going to go with an extra large. Yeah. And I'm going to put it in front of the bathtub. There we go. That one's done. Last room of the house. And we have 26 grand to spend on it. Man, if I go over budget on 26 grand, I'll be upset. Install panels. Beowulf's brown low panels. I know, but we're also at the end of our time. So I think. Upset or not. This, guys, is where I'm going to leave you. We have one more room to do. We have Beowulf's brown low panels with blue paint and Beowulf's low white low panels with blue paint. Um, and then we just go through. It looks like it's another bedroom. Maybe it's another servant's room, which is why this bathroom's so green. Or it could be a guest room. I don't know. I like it in, in its own little green way. I'd like it better if I could have tiled all the way to the edge. So... There you go. On that note, guys, I'm going to leave you. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. And if you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll check you later. Take care out there.